Hey friends, my name is Yi, and you're watching Yi Mr. Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCC at Medicine today. We have the rules and examples for the applications of integration, or basically finding areas and the curves. And we'll start off with some basics, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't any future videos. And we'll start off with some basics for the curve and the x-axis. So here we have two points here. So number one, the area, the area between a curve and the x-axis where the curve is a positive. Now let's say like this right here, a positive curve. The area under, under the curve y equals f of x from x equals a to x equals b is given by this right here, this equation. And y is basically the same as f of x in this case. And notice how it's from a to b, so a in the bottom and b at the top. Where f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for this right here. And then we have the area between the curve and the x-axis when the curve is negative, like in the negative region right here. The area enclosed by the curve y equals f of x from x equals a to x equals b is given by this equation right here. a equals minus this right here, d of x, and this right here. And it looks complicated because of the different symbols or whatever or signs. So you can just do it normally by just doing from just doing this form right here, but you just need a modulus symbol. Because integrating this function right here when f of x is less than zero or a negative curve will get you a negative area. An area can be negative, so just put a modulus sign around the integration sign so that it becomes positive. Right here. And then we have some, some examples. So we have this curve right here, y equals uh, 4x minus x squared. The area under the curve y equals 4x minus x squared from 0 to 4, which is basically, uh, basically a to b, is given by this equation right here. So let's just break it down right here. So we have this integration symbol, um, just um, that right here. We have this integration symbol right here. And this right here is the function 4x minus x squared. And then we have from 0 to 4. Like so, so we have um, we know that the area is in the positive region, so we don't need we don't need any like um, we don't need any modulus symbol or like this symbol right here, the two modulus symbol. So we have this equation right here, and we can just solve it normally by just doing definite integral by basically just integrating this function with the limits of four to zero, and then just evaluating it to get thirty three over two unit square. Therefore, it means that the area under the curve of y equals 4x minus x squared from 0, x equals 0 to x equals 4, which is this shaded region right here, the area is 30, uh, 32 over 3 units square. Then we have the curve and the y-axis. It's basically the same, but basically the area between a curve and the y-axis where it is positive, like this one this right here, in the positive region, is given by when the, when the curve is x equals h of y, is given by this equation right here. It looks the same, but it's just different from just now by the equation. So just now when it is the curve between the curve and the x-axis, you express the equation in terms of y. So y equals, it could be let's say y equals x squared plus 3. But in this case, with the area between the curve and the y-axis, you have to express the, uh, the equation in terms of x. So to rearrange this, it can be like y equal three equal like y sorry y minus three root y minus three equals x, and that you can just integrate this to find the area between the curve and the y-axis. And then here we have the area between two curves, or a line and a curve, or a curve and a line. So the area between two curves is given by the area under y equals f of x, where y where f of x is the um, the curve in the top. On the top right here, minus the area on the y equals g of g of x between x equals a and x equals b. So one thing to note is that y equals f of x is always the top function, and y equals g of x is always in the bottom function. But in the case where you don't know which uh, which equation is in the top or which is at the bottom, it doesn't matter. But it's just that you get a negative area, and from just now we know that if we have a negative area, we can just put a modular sign around the integration symbol to make sure that we get a positive result, as shown here, right here. I just included a um, modular symbol right here. And now we'll move on to some examples. So number one, 
The diagram shows part of the curve y equals 4 over x squared and find the area between the curve and the x-axis between x equals 1 and 2. So let's just set up the equation a for area equals um, the integral of 4 over x squared dx from 1 to 2. So we can just solve this normally by doing indefinite integral by pulling the 4 out and 2, 1, x to the power of minus 2 dx. Then you can, we can evaluate it by just doing this. We can just integrate x equals minus 2, so x to the power of minus 2, which gets you minus 1 over x. And then the limit 2 to 1. And then we can just simplify this by doing 4 times minus 1 over 2, minus minus 1 over 1. And if you simplify this and expand it, you will get an answer of 2 unit square. And that's the answer. And question 2. The diagram shows part of the curve y equals sine x. Find the area between the curve and the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals pi over 2. So we have we know that pi is equal to 180 degree. That means pi over 2 is basically 90 degree. But it doesn't really matter, it's just for us to know what it means. So we have area equals pi over 2 and 0 from this right here, sine x, 0 dx. And we can now basically integrate the function. Integrate sine x to get minus cos x. Right, because if you integrate cos x, you get minus sine x, so we have to put a negative. So minus cos x from 0 to pi over 2. And then we can basically in, uh, evaluate the function by doing minus cos pi over 2 minus minus cos 0. And if you put this into a calculator, you get an answer of 1 unit. And you might get an answer of 3 point something something to the times 10 to the power of minus 4. And that's because you're not using the radians mode in your calculator. And you may be using the degrees mode in your calculator. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you're dealing with trigonometry or trig functions, and the limit or like the, the angles is in pi, that means you have to use radians instead of degrees. So th it, if it were to be like 90 degree, then you could use degree, but I'm not using 90 degree, I'm using pi over 2, so I have to use radians. Unit, oh sorry, unit square. And then we have third question. The diagram shows part of the curve minus uh, y equals minus 1 plus 9 over x square. Find the area between the curve, like the between x equals 2 and x equals 5. So right here. So one really key thing to note is that you have to split this into two different areas. Sorry, two different areas. You split into A and B. Because you can't integrate both like um, the function shell away and find these two areas, you have to split it because there's uh, x, the, the x-intercept, the roots here. So you have to split it. So we can just find what this point is. So we have to do y equals minus 1 plus 9 over x squared, where x is 0. So where y is 0. So we have to solve for x minus 1 plus 9 plus x squared. So we have to solve for x to get x squared equal 9, and x equals plus or minus 3. We're not concerned with the minus 3 because it's not in our range, so we know that this point here must be 3. So let me just rub this out. So we can now find the area of A. So the area of A is equal to the integral of um, the curve minus 1 plus 9 plus x squared dx from 2 to 3, right here, 3. So we can now basically just evaluate the function. It will be minus x minus 9 over x from 3 to 2. And if you put into a calculator, let me just put it in now. So we have the um, integral of, you have to evaluate it, minus 1 plus 9 over x squared, integrate, uh, evaluate it, you get an answer of 1 over 2. So the area under A is 1 over 2 unit squared, or half a unit squared. So let's just put one thing here, so A, A equals half unit squared. Number 1. Let me just rub this out so that I have space to do for B. So to find B, it's just the same process as A, so the area of B equals the integral of from uh, of uh, minus 1 plus 9 over x squared dx from x equals 3 right here, this point is 3, so 3 to 5. So let's just evaluate it, it will be minus x minus 9 over x 
from 3 to 5 and if you put into a calculator to evaluate it you get an answer of just give me one second square 3 to 5 it's equal to minus 4 over 5 unit square and remember what we said about having a negative area we can't do that right so what we have to do is that we have to put this whole thing modulus 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 which means that we have to turn the negative into a positive therefore it will be 4 over 5 unit square right so the total area the total area total will be equal to the sum of the area sum this sigma symbol right here the sum of the area which is 1 over 2 plus 4 over 5 and you get an answer of 1 over 2 plus 4 over 5 to get an area of 1.3 or 13 over 10 unit square and that's the answer and then we have question 4 calculate the area bounded by the curve y equals 4x squared but, uh, the, in the y-axis and, like, and the lines y equals 1 and y equals 4 so to be very clear this is in the y-axis that means you have to, to express the equation in terms of x so y equals 4x squared we have to uh, rearrange it to get x so it will be x equals the root of y over 4 or basically 1 over 2 times one to, uh, 1 to the power 1 over 2 like so so now we can just integrate this by doing area from uh, 1 over 2 we can just put the 1 over 2 up because it's a constant y to the power 1 over 2 dy from y equals 1 and y equals 4 for right here so we can now basically just integrate the function 1 over 2 plus 1 and then the coefficient, which is 1 divided by that, that function, it will be 2 over 3, y3 three over 2, from 1 to 4. Then we can just basically just take this constant out to become 1 over 2 times 2 over 3, which is 1 over 3, y3 three over 2, from 4 to 1. Therefore, if we evaluate it by doing 1, uh, by doing one over 3, times 4 to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 to the power 3 over 2 then we get an answer of 7 over 3 unit square and that's the answer and lastly we have a last question for the areas between two curves so find the area bounded by the, between the curves of these two right here so imagine if I don't have the graph and I don't know which curve is above which I can just choose one to be above. Let's say y equals x square uh, x squared plus one as a as a top, and let's just set this as f of x and this as g of x. That means the area will be equal to f of x minus g of x dx, right? But we have to know that what area like which point which x points to bound to. So you have to find the point of intersection, right? So it'll be, you have one at, at one at zero and one at something x with something so let's just find the point of intersection by equating the two functions it will be x squared plus 1 equals minus x squared plus 4x plus 1 rearranging, rearranging to get 2x squared minus 4x equals 0 and then you can just basically just factorize it by just factorizing the x and uh, 2 right here to get x equals 0 and x equals 2 and that means that these two are the points where they intersect so we have to know that the area is from 0 to 2 therefore we can just rewrite the function uh, f of x is basically equal to x squared plus 1 minus g of x which is minus minus x squared plus 4x plus 1 dx and then we can just basically simplify it 2 to 0, uh, zero to 2 x squared plus 1 plus x squared minus 4x minus 1 dx and then it will be 2 to uh, 0 to 2 2x squared minus 4x and then just dx and you can notice that it's basically this form right uh, sorry it's basically this form right here 2x squared minus 4x as you can notice right and then I'm just gonna just write it up here and if we integrate it it'll be equal to the integral sorry let me just do the square the square bracket 2x squared you have to integrate it just add the power by 1 and divide the coefficient it will be 2 over 3 sorry 2 over 3 x cubed minus 2 x squared from 0 to 2 
And if you evaluate this function, because we know that zero will just cancel out everything because zero to the power of three or zero to the power of two is just zero. That means that we're only concerned with this two right here. So let's just do two over three times two cubed minus two times three squared. Then we'll get an answer of minus 38 over three unit square. But wait, the air will come in negative. That means that we have to put a modular symbol. So modulus, 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 modulus. Modulus opposite of the absolute value. And therefore the final answer is 38 over 3 unit square. And this also tells us that uh, y equals x, plus, x squared plus 1 is lower than uh, y equals minus x squared plus 4x plus 1. And this can be seen here. So this is basically y equals x squared plus 1. And the other one is the y equals minus x squared um, plus 4x plus 1. And you can notice that in the curve where we're trying to find the area, the y equals x squared plus 1 curve is indeed under, under the other curve right here, as you can see. And that's the final answer. And this is for this rules and examples video for the applications of integration. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you have any comments or questions or feedback about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can drop it off in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, YouTube or LinkedIn or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemisaneasy.com. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be the questions for the applications of integration. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.